For this lesson, we will learn to analyze the ticker tape chart. The ticker tape is cut into 10 thick strips and arranged in this way to form a chart. The frequency of the vibrating pin is set as 50 Hz and so each 10 ticks is 0.2 second. So we label the time on the x-axis as 0.2 second, 0.4 second, 0.6 0.8 and 1.0 second. So first, we need to calculate the total displacement traveled. As you can see, for the first strip, the, to the displacement traveled is 20 cm. For the second, it's 18 cm. For the third, 16 cm. For the fourth, 14 And the last one, is 12. So it's pretty easy. The total displacement, you just need to sum all these five values, which is 20 plus 18 plus 16 plus 14 and plus 12. And you can get 80 centimeter. The reason behind this is because the whole ticker tape is cut into five tentic strips. So the whole ticker tape represents the total displacement travel. So you just need to sum all the length of five strips. Next, what is the average velocity of this ticker tape? Now we already know that the total displacement is 80 cm. Now all we need to know is the total time taken. As you can see, there are five tentic strips and each tentic strips we have 10 ticks. So we just take 5 times 10 ticks and each 10 ticks is 0.2 second. So equals to 5 times 0.2 second. And you can get the total time taken which is 1.0 second. Now you need to calculate the average velocity and the formula for average velocity is the total displacement S over the total time taken, T. You get the value of total displacement, which is 80 cm, and you divide by the total time taken, which you calculated earlier, which is 1 second. So you can get the average velocity, yes, 80 cm per second. Next, we move on to find the acceleration of the ticker tape. Now, to calculate the acceleration, we need the initial velocity, we need the final velocity, and we need the time taken for the acceleration to occur. Now, you can see that the first 10 tick strip represents the initial velocity, and the last 10 tick strip represents the final velocity. So, to calculate the initial velocity, you just need to take the length of the first strip, which is 20 cm, divide by the time taken for this 10 tick strip, which is 0.2 second. Then you can get the value 100 cm per second. Remember, this is the average initial velocity. And now we calculate the average final velocity. You just need to take the length of the final ticker tape, which is 12 cm, and you divide by the time taken for this 10 tick strip, which is 0.2 second, then you can get the value 60 cm per second. Now for the time taken, it's a bit special. You cannot just take the total time, which is one second. You need to know that we use the average initial and average final velocity. So the starting point should be the midpoint of the first strip and the end point should be the midpoint of the last strip. So from the midpoint of first strip to the second strip is 1 and the second to third midpoint 2, third to fourth 3 and fourth to fifth is 4. So the time taken between the midpoint of the first strip to the midpoint of last strip should be 4 times 10 ticks. 
So it's 4 times 0 0.2 second, and you can get 0 0.8 second, which is the time taken for the acceleration to occur. Now, let's move to calculation. The acceleration, we all know that the formula is final velocity minus initial velocity. And for this case, the final velocity is 60 cm per second minus the initial velocity 100 cm per second over the time taken for the acceleration which is 0 0.8 second. So from the calculation, you can get the value negative 50 cm per second cube. And since there is a negative sign there, we can know when the length of the ticker tape is decreasing, it is a deceleration. When the length of tentic strip is increasing, so the chart represents acceleration. So okay, so that's all for ticker tape chart. P please subscribe our video and like this video if you feel it's helpful. Thank you.